What's going on, everybody? Let me move my mic up here just a little bit. So if it gets a little bit loud, I do apologize. But I want to do a quick PSA reveal. I just got in my four cards I sent back in. Uh, I want to say it was the Friday or something before 4th of July. And they just got back in today. All the grades were I, what I expected, minus one. But overall, they're good grades. Don't get me wrong. Um, and then we're going to go into kind of like a dual part video here. But real quick, I know a lot of people have been emailing me and stuff and hit me on uh, Messenger. I I'm still the same as last week, just real weak, guys. Um, just really hard to explain offhand. When you have to completely like redo your eating habits because of a condition you have, it takes a toll on you, I guess, till your body gets used to it. So... I've been catching up on a lot. As you can see, like this whole stack here still needs to go on eBay. It just, I get so much to where I can get done and I'm like burnt. And after doing work all day, it, it just really hits me hard. So I, I will start catching up. I know I just caught up on comments. I will start looking for some more videos here coming up. Um, but, oh, and we're still live Friday night over time. All right. Let me see if I can move the pug a little bit out of my way here. So first card up, I purchased this at the uh, Lexington show a while back. I was pretty sure it was going to come back this grade as a nine. Beautiful card overall. This is that Topps Chrome Chalk Dust, as they're called, at LeBron James. Value on it, I want to say is a nine is around like four to four and a quarter, roughly, something like that there. But I'm happy with it overall. I noticed a couple little imperfections that I found onto it that were really minute, but I figured that's what it was going to get offhand. Really need to see them have the microscope to find them in that because, like, these lines that were up here are actually part of the card and stuff. Kind of hard to see. There's like three lines up in there. There, kind of in a way. But overall, pretty happy with that there. Up next, same show. Picked this up for 150 Really was happy on getting a 9 back onto this. I would have been shocked if it came back a 10. This is the Lucky 13, what we called the uh, gold medallions back in the day from uh, 07 uh, Ultra. Now, a 10 of this goes for around, I think, 15. No, no, over, two, I think it's 2100, 2100 ish. 21, 2200. So this value is about 7, 800. So. You know, 150 for the card plus 200 grading. I pretty much double my money. Happy with it. Very happy. Great card to have. Um, I did notice a little bit on the corner down here that had whiting, but I figured what the heck. It was a pretty good deal overall. And coming back a nine, just great. Next card. You all remember the Tatis logo, man. I was really not wanting to get this graded because I knew offhand it was going to come back this grade. And it's due to centering and just a normal, I'm a big, thick card, to, and I'm going to have some kind of edge wear onto it. I'd like the Trout Griffey, which came directly from Top Sealed. This here, I, I kind of knew. So if you guys remember the logo, man, I pulled. It cost me basically, I think like 100, 150 in the break. Came back in eight, which I was pretty much knew it would. I know a lot of people are like, oh, why'd you get a one-on-one -on -one grade? Well, if I'm going to sell this and put it out somewhere... I want this to go on my slabs because they only do graded cards on there. So you may see it on there. I, I really haven't decided yet. I might put it up there and if somebody bites on the price that I want or around it, it might get sold. But it's the camouflage logo, man. Really nice looking card overall. I mean, I, I have my guesses where the value is on it, but it's going to be on the collector where they put this at, to be honest. Up last, Jacob Monster pulled this for me. This is the one that shocked me, but then I figured it out. I figured it out, and either way, it was going in to get graded. When I just have something that's over 1,500 it's, or even over 1,000, my first thing is it just needs to go and be graded. So nobody can argue with me if it gets sold. Um, this is Zion from Impeccable. It's out of 10. Let me see if I can get it up on the camera or not. Right down there. 7 out of 10. 
Beautiful card. I was kind of cautious with the centering on it, wondering if it was going to get it left or right. Um, and if you look at a card like this, that's where I'm saying left to right. It, they got it with the nine. I, if it would have came back, I was hoping for a ten. When I used the tool over top of this, because the tool has a thick like black line to where it says like this is a three, this is a four and stuff, it kind of had it on edge. But the last one of these were all sold for eighteen hundred. I knew that if a nine came out of it, it was going to push it between twenty two and twenty five hundred. A ten would have been way way up there in price. And I was only in the card for one hundred and fifty bucks for taking the pelican. So to me, it just helped secure the card and gave me a couple bucks extra onto what a raw does onto with a shot trying to get a ten onto it. But I figured I'd show those off real quick. The turnaround time was about four weeks, if you count weekends and holidays, because of the 4th of July weekend. It didn't get into the system until, it was either the 6th or 7th of July. So if anybody else has stuff out there, that's pretty much where I can tell you it's at. All right, let's get into the topic today, everybody. And I forgot about this. And I just happened to come across it. It's actually been on my computer now for, I want to say since Saturday or Sunday. Um, a while back, people used to send fan mail to, you know, players. They didn't pay a money or nothing. So, you know, you'd send something off to like Joe Montana. And he'd come back autographed. Well, he was using an auto pen. And I really forgot about this. And this just brings to light. And I'm going to show you guys here. I'll pull it up. Maybe. So it was just talked about on Probstein. And if you look here, uh, Joe Montana. Oh, sorry. You want to start here. Um, through the mail autographs. And it was basically the fan ones. It wasn't the ones where you paid your money on it. But if you look on a lot of these, you can tell where the pen, you know, touches down and then where it lifts up at. The autographs are all the same onto it. And I'm going to show you some of them that are on eBay. So always be careful what you buy out there. So this guy did it correctly. Joe Montana autograph card or autograph card is created by AutoPen. Buyers beware. I applaud that. I applaud that. He basically went out there and said, hey, this has Joe Montana's autograph on it, but it's by an auto pen. So, very, very good there. There's another example. And if you remember, I believe this year, oops, let me get that off of there. <laughs> this year here, they actually had one of the cards that was autographed by him. But if you, you start looking at this, you could tell that it's the same exact thing that actually went off the card and everything onto it. But you can see where the pen starts at, where it ends. But again, this guy doesn't know it's a um, auto penned. And for 85 bucks, that should just make you think on Joe Montana Auto. Last one up. This actually sold. $54. See, a lot of people know about this, but in case you ever come across one, this was by Probstein. Ooh, there we go. You can tell where, again. But it went for 54 bucks as well, too. So you really can't use stuff like this as guidelines. Uh, and the, th the sad part is a lot of systems that are doing like our market analysis and stuff, we'll pick this up and it'll drop price value on it. And this is where it goes into play that you got to kind of remember all this stuff that's going on out there and try to keep it embedded in your head because you're like, whoa, Joe Montana autographs have been like, just say three, three $400 average. Why is this one going for 54? Then you click on, you're like, that's on a scorecard. Was that a TTM? What is it? And then nowhere in that does it say it's a TTM. But yes, it is a Probstein.
But I wanted to bring that up just in case anybody didn't know about uh, Joe Montana using an auto pen back in the day just for fan mail, not for the stuff that you guys send whatever amount of money was to him, and he got the autograph on it. Um, he didn't use the stuff with, like, Panini or Tops or anything like that, at least to my knowledge. But a lot of this stuff here was all auto pen. Same with, you'll see it on a lot of footballs, uh, jerseys I see it on, uh, the photos, the, what is it, eight and a half by 11s and stuff. So just always be cautious what you're buying out there. If the cert doesn't come from somebody reputable, and my, my thing is this, if it's not Steiner, it's not Beckett, it's not PSA, I, I really don't go much with JSA or TriStar. There was another one out there, too, I, I would use, too. It, it's just not hitting me right now. But I go with reputable companies only. I know a lot of the places had, like, side deals back in the day to get autographs from the players, but I believe that has gone away. All right, everybody. Appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget 11 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Be live with Joey over at CBC. And uh, we probably got a lot to talk about, actually. It's been two weeks. I would imagine that live stream probably won't last more than 90 minutes offhand. So if, if you're able to make it in, I appreciate it. If not, you can always catch the replay of it. But I am back doing videos. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get everything back in the groove. I'm probably like 90% caught up right now. And again, thank you everybody who got stuff out of the store this weekend. I do appreciate it. And if you also picked anything up off of my slabs or eBay, thank you, thank you. But I will catch you all Friday night on overtime. Take care.